Hello everybody, my name is Simply Falcon. If you click this video, that means you're searching for a message, you're searching for even just a vibe, and you're just searching for a time to just have a moment of where everything feels okay, where you're, where you feel like you have a sense of everything going on in the world right now. And so let me break down what this video actually is because I feel like this is pretty unique. This kind of just came to me and so I'm kind of winging it here myself, but I have some lovely tarot cards that I have all around me at the table that you can't see right now, but I'm going to be shuffling those. I'm going to be playing my singing bowls that you see here so we can start vibing with each other, which let me just get started. yeah i just wanted to have a video where we're just vibing where we are able to just hang out be present be able to just have deep conversation be able to have this intimate moment with one another and as this video goes on i'm going to be pulling some tarot cards some tarot cards might resonate with you some may not you know this video is for more than just one singular person right and so if the card that I pull for you is a message that you receive, you can just let me know the message that you receive from it. Put it in the comments below. I would love to hear what cards resonate with you, what cards were calling to you, and how it fit for you in your life in the moment of when you're watching this video. And so, yeah, you may click into this video for a little bit, and then click out of it, and then click back in a couple days. That's all right. I'll be here. We're just going to be vibing here, you know? We're going to be vibing and just hopefully having a wonderful time. And so, yeah, if this video is wonderful to you, I'm just going to say it now. Please give me a like and subscribe as well. But we're just going to keep on vibing now. I also wanted to say before um, I do continue this, I actually curated a bunch of songs that I already listened to. And so I'm going to be playing that in the background as well. So um, many of the times, if you've been on my channel, you know that I like to go to rivers. I like to go to in nature. I always have music playing. And these the kind of music that I listen to is literally these artists. And so, yeah, I figured I not, why not just share some of my vibe with you guys as well while I just do this kind of video. about I want to just talk about how I'm feeling for some of you guys there's just like this I'm getting like tightness around like the chest area and also like tightness in like the throat chakra and so this singing bowl funnily enough I chose it for the aesthetic of everything right like looking like I have my life together but this is actually meant this chakra bowl here, the singing bowl is the chakra bowl, and this vibration is actually supposed to help with your throat chakra, so for some of you guys, I just want you to take a deep breath while I'm playing this, and just close your eyes, and I'm going to address these two cards here while the singing bowl is playing. like to pretend or imagine that this vibration is like giving like a cooling sensation to my throat chakra and just like letting everything just going from like this red constrictedness to like this nice light blue cooled sensation around my throat area and usually with the throat chakra this is for people who usually if you have a if your throat chakra is struggling basically usually these are the signs of this is where you are struggling on speaking up for yourself, speaking your truth. People who 
doubt themselves, perhaps. They don't want to make take up space in the room. And so, yeah, going into this, like, we have the Six of Water, and this card talks about memories from your history or childhood. So maybe right now you guys are just dealing with some drama right now in your family where, you know, it's just been dealing with some patterns in your life, in your family's life of where you are... <clears throat> having to deal with toxic behaviors and having to like break these chains that were passed down from generation to generation and you're the first one, you're the first generation, you'd be like, hey, this isn't normal. Or perhaps you're just thinking about the past right now and maybe like some of you guys might be having some regrets. Maybe some of you guys, there's there are some of you that might want, that might want to say sorry to somebody, right? Ooh, <laughs> I kind of feel like that's the case for some of you guys. Maybe there's, a bit of release that needs to happen for you guys where even if you feel like you did nothing wrong being able to just speak your peace and being able to say it's okay thank you for that wonderful time that we had and at one point in our lives and being able to truly practice forgiveness and so forgiveness isn't about as i'm sure most of you already know isn't about admitting fault or feeling like you're taking all the blame it's being able to just come to accept that you can't change the situation for what it is and that's i feel as if spirit brought six of water forward to let you know that these feelings of wanting to reach out to somebody these feelings of where you're wanting to <sighs> reminisce about the past with somebody i feel like with a lot of you guys it's not a coincidence where there's like a struggle with a throat chakra i truly feel like there's for some of you guys you need to just speak your truth in whatever matter this means whether this is reconnecting with somebody and being able to just speak your perspective or whether you're just speaking and talking about something that was like an elephant in the room and being able to just be like hey yeah i know i just been in a weird place lately and maybe i wasn't treating you the best way and i want to say sorry for that and i want to let you know that i'm actively working on myself maybe some of you guys this is a time for you to really communicate with those that you love communicate with those that are around you right now because with the four of fire as well this card talks about there's you know it's a, a lot of abundance a happy home life so, so I know for some people, they might not, they may like hear this card and be like, oh, this isn't for me. This card, I'm not meant to receive this card. But truly, I feel as if there's some people who are receiving this reading that are kind of in their head. And for a while, they've had to maybe work on some past traumas in their life. And that is why they've been in like this weird place. And that is why they haven't really spoken up about anything because it's like, they were, they, you know, maybe you knew that you were projecting, or maybe this is somebody that you know in your life that are dealing with it, you know? I don't want to make assumptions, but, you know, maybe you've been working on your own stuff lately, and people in your life right now are just triggering you, and triggering, like, past things about you, and so, because of that, you're kind of, like, projecting a little bit, or maybe you're just not speaking up, you're not saying your piece, you're not letting it be known about something bothering you. And so because of this, you start holding some resentment. And so Spirit brings over the four of fire to just ask you to relieve this weight, to be able to just speak your peace, to be able to be willing to take up space in the room. You know, it's very important, I feel, for you guys to acknowledge that this is a time for you to really just be honest with those around you because I really do get such a good sensation for those who are receiving this message that you guys have good people around you and spirit really wants to let you know that this is you know don't keep your intuition in check or keep your ego in check I want to say a little bit you know when we're going through shadow work I feel like a lot of people are going through shadow work right now uh it can bring out a lot of like triggering things from our past and so because of this while you're work currently going through working through it those who are closest to you end up having to deal with it a little bit or they kind of deal with the you know your friends may not know that you're going through something mentally but you know, they know that there's some, something's up when there are just some days you're just exhausted or maybe some days you're just more irritable 
you know maybe there's just something that they say that just sets you off and spirits really just trying to let you know that it's okay to take this time to heal but the this is a, i feel as if it's because of the the feeling of the throat tracker i feel as if there's for some people the need to the only way to break this cycle to finally finally overcome this obstacle that a lot of you have been going through because this is really i feel like an obstacle these two cards the four of fire and the six of water i feel like this is an obstacle for you guys of where you have to get to this next level of forgiveness perhaps or maybe just confidence in speaking up for yourself perhaps this is just a time for you to really learn how to communicate with one another right that's i mean that's partially you know just i always want to reference with the throat chakra like right now there's just kind of like a theme funnily enough you know with the full moon and leo don't let pride get in the way so definitely i feel as if for some people you don't want to be the one to start the communication channel with someone that you used to talk to more often and maybe you still talk to this person you know when i say that, um, some people you may already still be talking to them and you just don't talk to them as often because you're just going through your own stuff and, you know, and you are, you know, you're just going through your own thing and those who are closest around you end up dealing with that kind of backfire. And so, or maybe like you guys got into a little bit of a tiff or an argument and you guys haven't talked for a little bit and you don't want to be the one to be like, hey, to address the elephant in the room and be like, hey, let's talk about this, or just be like, hey, can we move on from it? Don't let pride get in the way. Do not allow, allow your pride to affect the, your your family life right now. You have a good circle right now. That's really what I'm getting. And so um, truly like remind yourself of the vision that you've had. You know, 2020 has been such a trying year for so many people. And I feel like people need this remind, like, because 2020 has been bringing out so much shadow work in us or so many of our it's been such a triggering gear perhaps for a lot of us and a lot of us have been having to do do some shadow work uh you know it's everyone's just in a sensitive place right now everyone's just in, emotions are high stress levels are high and spirits trying to really let you guys know who are, whoever receives that set of readings that you know, you guys are good. You guys have a good circle right now. Remind yourself the goals that you had coming into 2020. Like those goals are still relevant, you guys. They're still completely relevant. You know, hold your vision, go through and heal, continue to heal through this work, throughout through this shadow work that is being brought up in you, going through that throughout the rest of 2020. Heal, but be vocal about it. Allow the people, allow the people in your circle to know about the shadows that you're going through. Allow your, the people in your circles right now to let you know, let them know of your struggles that you're going through. You can trust them. Um, absolutely, that's the part that I'm getting for you guys. And so, yeah. If you guys have been listening to the music at all uh, so far in this video, and some of it, well, several of the songs you guys will probably already recognize from my pick cards that I have. But uh, yeah, let me know if you like the, this kind of music because I don't know. This is literally all I listen to. I really enjoy a lot of jazz. I enjoy a lot of ambient music. Well, just ambiance music that's just very slow and very chill. It just, I find it just matches my vibe the best. <laughs> it's easier to, it's this kind of music that you can like walk around in like a park or walk around in nature or even like read a book too. Like it's not distract, it's pretty enough to be able to get lost in with your thoughts, but it's not pre prevalent enough to overcome like your own thoughts or you know overcome the environment around you i feel like it just blends in well with any kind of chill like relaxed environment and so holy cow you guys i already have a bunch of new cards for us right now so right now what i'm getting for us is 
actually let's talk about some good stuff right now uh we have the new moon in sagittarius which is talking about luck is on your side right now so this is a beautiful card to have right we this is the kind of card that we want to have and so you're feeling like down and out right now because you feel like <laughs> that's a little bit loud but if you have been feeling a little bit frustrated because things are not working out right now I feel like spirit right now is just trying to give you reassurance. Yeah, I, that, that's definitely what I'm feeling for you guys right now. Like, you guys are just are very stressed right now. You maybe I feel like some of you guys have been in like the just recently had like a little bit of a breakdown, like a little bit of a cry session. Maybe you're in the middle of a cry session right now. <laughs> no shade at all. I'm probably gonna be watching this video back later on in the middle of a breakdown. <laughs> But yeah, Spirit really brought out this set of cards to really give some of you guys some comfort in that they have your back. I feel as if you guys have been dealing with some obstacles for a while now and it just seems like one, one thing after another. And you know, yeah, I feel as if, and I'm not even, I'm like channeling a message right now, you guys, but uh, I'm feeling as if like for some of you guys, like, there's like this heavy frustration, partially because of the fact that, you know, when you faced a roadblock, you, you were like, okay, like, let me just shift it a little bit. You maybe branched off and tried to experiment with something else. And that just didn't work as well. Like, it feels as if like, you guys have been constantly dealing with some roadblocks with every avenue you go. And it seems like the only way you can go forward is by going backwards and doing something else. Maybe some of you guys I feel like are questioning right now if you made the right choice in like a career or maybe you made the right choice in terms of like a relationship. And I feel like with spirit, with this spread right now, they're really trying to let it, let it be known that you're overthinking things. Stop overthinking things right now, you guys, because, you know, we have the new moon in Cancer talking about you and your loved ones are safe. On top of with the five of you talking about pair, like with how these cards are going together, blending together, like the five of era, I feel like is more so the representation of where you're feeling right now and your thoughts. And the spirits are really trying to emphasize for you guys that are receiving this message to really don't be frustrated. There is a purpose to this. Trust in the process. Trust in that safety net that. You know, I feel like for a lot of you guys that, you know, you guys have a pretty good safety net and, but you don't want to acknowledge it perhaps, or maybe you don't, you know, it still can be kind of scary. You know, you can, I feel like a lot of you guys, you know, you'll make it, but it just is really scary right now. And so maybe like, yeah, you might be having those thoughts as if like you even made the right choice when it comes to something, but I feel like deep down, like you kind of know like that's where your emotions are just getting to the best of you. I feel like you guys kind of know that you are just being truly tested. This is a time for you guys are just being truly tested right now. And you know, you just have to roll with the punches just a little bit more. I promise you that. And you know, y'all, if you've been onto my channel any t for any amount of time, you already know I don't sugarcoat things. You know, uh, see, uh, this is my favorite. I love, this is why, uh, this is such a good idea because as you guys saw, I just shuffled the cards and as I was talking, this is spirit, spirit's with us right now. I really, uh, you know what, before I even get into this card, you guys, before I even get into this card, <laughs> this is where I'm like geeking out. Y'all are gonna geek out with me in a moment, but we're gonna build up that tension. Mm. This is beware if I was monetized, I would be dropping an ad or two. <laughs> but no, just... I just want you guys to like vibe with me for a moment here. You know, I really want to like connect with you guys in the short of just live streaming. Like, I feel like this is just such a perfect video for anyone to just come into at any time and just vibe with me. I mean, shoot, like, I, <laughs> these are the kind of videos I would love to have and I have no shame in saying that I will most definitely check out this video just to play in the background because, I don't know, I enjoy my content and I always appreciate when you guys hang out with me. It's just so much fun and so, Deep breath, you guys. All right, let's continue vibing. And so this is where 
I got my goosebumps here, you're all ready to geek out with me. So we got the Wolverine card and what we were talking about before. Uh, this card is saying you are a lot tougher than you think you are, right? I can't make it up. Y'all saw me shuffle it. Hello? Y'all saw me su shuffle it while I was talking about how you guys know that you guys are going to make it. Spirit right now is really trying to give you guys this reassurance that things are going to work out, you know? Things are absolutely going to work out. You know it is. Luck is on your side. You know, you and your loved ones are safe. Go through the, the rest of these obstacles with confidence and knowing that those who walk with you, though your ancestors, your spirit guides, whoever it is, whatever it is that you believe in, even if it's just you and your own willpower, you know, you have this. They have, you're, you're protected. Everything is, your time is coming. I promise you that your time is coming. And so, one more card to see, close off this message of the part of the reading. Okay, the page of earth good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging a new area of study so absolutely spirits letting you know giving you this promise that's you know your that your abundance is coming you know i feel like there's maybe still a couple more shifts maybe some fine tuning that you need to do in your ideas before your passion project really takes off before your career really takes off you know maybe you're going in the right general direction but there are just some small details that would really be all the difference to your idea that would be like the take a point the selling point to have something really take off and so i feel like this is just a time for you to see these obstacles that you're dealing with right now and view them as just a way of them spirit trying to challenge you to push you and push you more and more and push you to your highest potential i'm struggling speaking right now but yeah, absolutely, you guys, like, things are absolutely going to be working out for you. Spirit's really trying to promise you that. And so I want you to take away from this spread of messages that things are going to work out, that, you know, have your breakdowns, you know, it's okay to have your breakdowns. I have two of them every day, <laughs> sometimes three times a day. No, not actually, but no, like, be in touch with your emotions. Be able, be willing to be present with your emotions. Be able, be willing to feel them. Just don't treat the you know these motions come and go you know everyone ha everyone everyone has moments of where they feel defeated or where they feel sad or where they feel frumpy and dumpy and where they just feel you know just the most down about themselves but it's a full-time job getting up getting getting up every single day to wake up with a positive attitude i get that right sometimes you need to take a sick day but you know, allow those emotions to be passing emotions because, you know, things get better. You know your story gets better. And so, yeah. All right, so. All right, for some people right now, um, yeah, I feel like there's spirit right now is really trying to, like, snap their fingers at you trying to like get your guys's attention right now because i feel like you guys are missing an opportunity because just pulled the ace of air or no the ace of fire and then i also pulled the eight of air and what this is telling me is like the ace of fire represents there's like an exciting opportunity there's something that you're you know something really is like in front of you right now y'all know how my readings are i don't talk about like six months in the future i don't i talk about in the now and what's coming into you in the now and so when the ace of fire comes forward this is spirit really saying like there's something right in front of you that you're not seeing and that's and i'm saying that because the eight of air comes in and i love this card because this is such a beautiful card. <laughs> like i'm such a dweeb when it comes to tarot cards like this because it's like when the eight of air comes forward, this is spirit really trying to just snap your guys, snap their fingers in front of you and get your attention and have you realize that these barriers, that these things that you feel as if are limiting you, maybe you feel like you can't succeed right now because of your environment. Maybe you feel like you can't go anywhere in life right now because of the pandemic that's going on right now and life is just feels frozen. Maybe you just, you know, you just feel trapped. Whether Whatever excuses you have, that is the embodiment of the eight of air and spirits really trying to call you out on your bs right now and trying to say it's like hey you you there's something right in front of your eyes right now but you can't see it you can't see this ace of fire right now because you have all these excuses blocking your vision and so 
spirit's really trying to help you like be aware of this these illusions like you're convincing yourself that you're trapped right now you're convincing yourself that there's absolutely nothing you can do and spirit's absolutely trying to empower you right now trying to let you know that it's like <laughs> like you can do this like there's some like spirits really actively like i'm getting like such a frustration from your spirit guys honestly just because of um like they're they worked really hard at trying to get this opportunity coming your way and it's like if the opportunity is not already there it's really coming up you guys and if you're not prepared for it you're not going to be able to take up the opportunity that the ace of fire represents and so yeah, I really want you guys to think about that because, I don't know, <laughs> like, Spirit is just, there's such a frustration coming through from Spirit because of this, like, you guys are really, you know, and I'm not trying to downplay your guys' situation at all, right? You know, we all, like, trust me, like, I am the last person to be trying to sit here and say that I don't have my own pity party sometimes. We all have our pity parties. But we can't, we, it's important to have our pity parties, but don't treat it as the reality, you know? We don't want to treat any kind of emotion as reality when it comes to, you know, when it comes to sadness and you, like, sadness or depression or anxiety. And all these emotions are important to feel just to have a greater or a broader perspective, but allow them to be passing emotions. Allow them to come, allow you to, allow, be sit with them, you know, sit with these emotions. And then allow them to pass and welcome back in higher vibrational energies, welcome back in more love, you know, as cheesy as it sounds. Um, I feel like just don't fall into this trap of, you know, the, these lower, you know, these lower vibrational energies, they're addictive, you know, everyone dabbles in it, we're human, like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend as if I am, like, only, like, of like the highest quality of person i would never entertain gossip or anything like that or self-pity please we're human we're meant to experience all the emotions all the vibrations right and so i really want you to break free of these excuses that you have for yourself right now it's really a time for you guys to really you know yeah like bring love into the situation i feel like this is the time for you to Maybe even for, mm, I'm gonna be calling out some of y'all right now, but I feel like there's like part of why you guys haven't wanted to take action because maybe some of you guys know there's this Ace of Fire coming forward or this Ace of Fire is here, but you haven't wanted to take action because of your own insecurity. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just reading the cards right now, y'all. Um, th but that's what I'm feeling, you know, like I feel because we have the new moon in Aquarius I feel like y'all need to bring a little bit more love into the situation when it comes to yourself Bring, have a higher opinion of yourself, have a higher, uh, I don't know, like yeah Like you guys need to be more forgiving of yourself, you guys need to be willing to bet on yourself a little bit more be willing to give your size give yourselves enough credit and be able to say it's like you know what? i am worth this ace of fire opportunity um you know and maybe that's you know this eight of air so instant like you created these excuses to convince yourself of why you weren't wouldn't be able to handle this ace of air be able to handle like this treasure perhaps and so you created these excuses so it doesn't feel as bad to not take up on the opportunity so you don't strike up at the opportunity right that's what this cat card says right the this card says it's the time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over dependency on others mm. maybe y'all have some codependency issues right now Ooh, y'all know how i am if y'all been chilling vibing with me for, until this point y'all know <laughs> tarot starts losing its patience for some people who don't listen you know and I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not one to sugarcoat things. I feel as if maybe some of you guys have a little bit of codependency or maybe you guys rely too much on some people to motivate you. Maybe you rely too much on your environment and you rely on being like, okay, I don't want to continue succeeding because my friend over here is still going through their own stuff. That's not, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope. that's just an, an excuse. That's what Ada Vera, that's what Spirit's trying to let you know. It's like, this is, you know, this Ace of Fire energy, this prize is not going to always be here. It's time for you to strike out.
don't feel guilty about it own your power really motivate yourself and be honest with yourself and be willing to be like hey i truly deserve this right be more loving to yourself put yourself as first priority for a change and allow those who are meant to be with you to keep up with you right they could because the what those who are meant to be with you are going to keep up with you live your most authentic self be willing to bet on yourself grab up at this opportunity because you can do it you absolutely can do it and i feel like you guys can know you can do it and like that's why you created all these excuses you had to create so many excuses to convince yourself or make it easier to convince yourself as to why you haven't pushed yourself enough or why you haven't achieved what you have wanted to achieve because you told yourself these excuses or you'd cling on to other people who don't push you enough who don't motivate you enough to continue going forward you know you know that you know you know you know i'm gonna you know all right all right all right i'll drop it y'all get the message y'all get the message i'm done now i won't fight with y'all on it anymore but uh yeah i don't feel like doing any more cards right now and so i'm going to slowly start playing the singing bowls and just real hype for a little bit longer i really appreciate you guys vibing with me during this time this is such a lovely vibe session right now i don't know but definitely let me know if you liked this video it was really wonderful connecting with you guys and just uh the messages spirit had crazy right they got a little aggressive at the end though but <laughs> I don't know, I love, like, I love doing tarot so much. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice because I've been speaking so much. But yeah, I love doing tarot so much because it's messages like that. Like, it's just like the beautiful flow that happens once you really start getting into tarot that it's like, it's so affirming, you know? You can't make this kind of stuff up. Like, the cards that I pulled in the moment, they were just so perfect, so perfect. Like, how can you not believe in it? And, you know, for those that are watching this and are just going through their rough time, I just want to let you know that it gets better. Like, <laughs> as cheesy as it sounds. And I hate being that cheesy person. I know if I said, if I heard myself a year ago, if me a year ago heard myself now, I'd be squinting at myself right now and being like, girl, calm down, calm down and trying to act woke. But actually though, like, I've found that um, <laughs> maybe I'm just an overtly optimistic person and so I just am optimistic long enough that good things start happening but you know and if you w read and heard the, these cards and listened to me during out during this entire reading y'all know I don't sugarcoat things I don't hold back on my message because I really want to help you guys I really want to give you guys a sense of direction and so I really hope that's what this reading did for you I really hope this video brings you some comfort I really hope if anything this you know this video just helped you get lost out of your environment for a while and you're just able to vibe with me you know I definitely felt some of y'all's energy during this and I really I don't know it's stuff like this that makes me really happy to have a channel because I really I'm so happy and so I love you guys so much I really want you guys to know that I the energy that I felt this message of spirit gave it was just I mean yeah I am an optimistic but I got nothing negative from those cards you know spirit was just trying to just give so much reassurance to everybody and so you have to read in between the lines when it comes to tarot right so the spirit's really trying to let you know that things are okay and just to keep on trucking for a little bit more just keep on pushing for a little bit more read between the lines you guys you know that's their sign of letting you know that there's something good is coming some of you guys that ace of fire energy you know i'm not gonna let excuse you on that you know look at your be willing to acknowledge your greatness own your greatness you guys we are our biggest limiters from our opportunities and if there's something that you're insecure about work on it you know like being able to acknowledge it if you can work on it of course but sometimes just working on it means just being able to be at peace with it you know there are a lot of things i had to be at peace with with my own self physically and mentally <laughs> you know no one's perfect and i don't know i'm not about to sit here and preach to y'all but i guess i'm done with this video this 
It's such a beautiful vibe for you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, and if you haven't heard it today, I see you, I hear you, and I love you so much. Bye, guys.